Hey, can I talk to you guys for a second? Alright guys, welcome back to Stage Flight Club. We are back at the mall and we're going to do another public speaking training exercise. And uh, today, Kyle, you don't even know what we're doing today, do no you? Clue. Are you a little I nervous? Because I, 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 I'm nervous I and I know what's happening. Yeah, I'm right. a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be better that I don't know though. What we're going to do today is an escalator challenge. We're actually going to go on the escalator with other people and give them a random speech. And we have to make it all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top without stopping. And if you stop, you lose. Okay. So we're gonna see at the end of the day who's actually gonna have the most wins. Okay. The kicker here is we don't actually know what our first sentence is gonna be. We're actually going to make each other's first sentences as we go on the escalator. So I'm actually gonna tell Kyle right before he goes on what his first sentence is, and then he has to give a talk on that sentence without preparing for it. So Kyle, now that you know what's happening, how are you feeling right now? Pretty nervous. Yeah? I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty <laughs> nervous. I'm pretty nervous too. Yeah. Like right before I came here, I took a cold shower so I could stop thinking about what we're doing today. Chief Flavor Astronauts, that's cold! So I'm actually ready to go ahead and get it over with. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what my sentence is. Einstein didn't fail math. He did not. Really? Okay. So my sentence is, did you know that Einstein didn't actually fail math? Okay. Hey guys. Oh no, no, I'm not trying to get by you. Y'all yep, have heard where like Einstein failed math a couple times, right? Y'all yeah. heard that before? Y'all actually realize like that's completely bunk. He actually never failed math growing up. Like to me, that would have yeah. been like motivational. Yeah, you know, yeah. where you're like, oh, he failed math yeah. and look how smart he is. But yeah. really that actually wasn't true. <laughs> I just found that out and I think that blew my mind <laughs> that he actually didn't fail anything. He's just yeah. a genius. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Hey guys, you have heard that Einstein like failed math before, and then he became a genius afterwards. You've heard that before? No. I'm failing algebra like three times and then up quitting. Uh -uh. You ever heard that before? No. Oh man. Well, I just found out a second ago that that never happened. He actually never failed math, and he's just a genius, and we're a bunch of normal folk, and it's not as motivational as I thought it would be. So, yeah. Let me take out this list. I think LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan. Hey sir, can I get your attention for a sec? Okay. Hey, so I think LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan because like he doesn't have as many rings, but he's been to the final seven times and Michael Jordan never did that. Like that's huge. You know, people want to talk about rings, but LeBron James like to go to the final seven times and he's going to go about for his eighth time. That's yeah, a, it, it, it's not just him, he goes with the team. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. Hey guys, hey guys, can I get your attention for a sec? Hey, so I think LeBron James is a much better basketball player than Michael Jordan because he's been to the final seven times, right? And Michael Jordan never did that. Like he has six rings, but he can't, he hasn't been to the finals as many times as LeBron James, you know what I'm saying? So I think LeBron James is the GOAT. He's like the best of all time, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I think, anyway. Alright, my first sentence is, I don't believe the Easter Bunny's real. <laughs> Alright, let's go do it. Hey guys, can I ask you guys a question? I don't, I'm just not believing that the Easter Bunny is real, alright? I, I know he's, he's right down there. But I'm just beginning to believe that it's not, it's not legit. Look how big he is. He's humongous. I know people are lined up for days to take a picture with the Easter Bunny, but I, I'm just not thinking that this is legit. Hey, can I talk to you guys for a second? I'm uh, beginning to think that the Easter Bunny is not real. All right, I know he's standing right down there and, he's, and people are lined up to look at him, but I, I'm just not convinced that's a real dude. You know, I'm starting to think that this is not legitimate anymore. I really think that's just a dude in a suit. I, I mean, I've never seen a bunny in the woods that big, ever. Not one time. My sentence is, apples make the ugliest bananas. 
Hey, what's up guys? Can I get your attention for a sec? Hey, so I think apples make the ugliest bananas because they're not even long, you know? Hey, so we're just making a YouTube video. You guys, okay, all right, all right, all right, my bad. My bad, my bad, man. Hey man, can I get your attention for a sec? Hey, so man, I think apples make the worst bananas because they're not even long and they're not even shaped like bananas, right? Like, they're not in the same color. And it's like, they're both fruits, but they're not even the same color. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I just think apples make the worst bananas. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, everyone, that was the escalator challenge. I, I would have to say this one was a lot tougher and it was almost brutal was going rough. through this one I than anything lie. else. So tell us about your thoughts, like going up and doing it and then yeah. kind of like what you felt like afterwards. So going up and doing it, uh, I think, you know, both of us are more nervous. Oh, uh, for sure. Say. Yeah, absolutely. But man, I was not ready for some of the reactions that we got. So I was talking and I could tell by their reaction that their ears were turning. They were like, what is this guy talking about? Why is he talking to me? Right. Uh, why is he talking about the thing, uh, Easter eggs? Or why is he talking about basketball? Or why is he, what's, what's wrong with this guy? And That's I right. I had to read that. So, you know, subconsciously, or, or I guess consciously, in our, in our mind, we're like, I, I want to stop talking. Like, <laughs> I had a constant. I wanted it to be like, over. Exactly. Like, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, I want to stop talking because I can tell that this guy thinks I'm weird. So I, all, I, all I wanted to do, when I was on the escalator was like stop talking, break character, and be like, hey man, I know I'm being weird, but this is for a YouTube video. That's but I right. couldn't do that because obviously that would defeat, defeat the purpose of our uh, challenge here. Right. So that was a huge uh, deal for me to just constantly fight that battle right. of like, all right, don't break character. You have like maybe five seconds left. Continue right. You need to finish your speech. I know it's weird. I know he thinks I'm weird, <laughs> but I'm going to finish the speech. I'm not going to break character. Absolutely. That was a constant struggle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was probably one of the hardest parts. Yeah. It's, it's just not wanting to just end it there and like yeah. stop talking. And adding on to that, I think it was hard for them too, because like you said, you know, like, so at first they would like be a little attentive. <laughs> yeah. But they would try to chatter like, this is what you're saying. But then when you're making a new sentence, they would, like you said, give you the cold shoulder, right? That's right. But, you know, you still had about five seconds left on the escalator, yep. right? So they you were like, keep talking. you could tell, they were like, they weren't sure what to do. So they had they no idea what to do. they were too, I bet. That's you know? right. They were like, oh, what do I do? Like, because they were like, kind of, you know, right. partly giving you a cold shoulder, but yeah. they need to tell they're still They're still adventure. looking at you in the corner, yeah. like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he's still awkward. talking. So if you plan on doing something just like this to kind of help build your, I guess, like, awkward resiliency, yeah. you know, intensity resiliency Absolutely. that kind of help you with great, also right? your public speaking skills. Yeah. Yeah. Right, make sure you grab a buddy and uh, if you want to film it, film it because yeah. you'll be surprised what your catch up afterwards. Like we get a lot just by re-watching our videos oh, and then kind of seeing how absolutely. we reacted yeah. and what we can improve on. Yeah. So that's the video guys. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel because we got way more videos coming and you don't want to miss out on them. <laughs>